What point did you realize that Arrow was going to be a hit? Um, in the uh, about two or three uh, weeks after the show premiered, it was Halloween. I think it had been on the air maybe two weeks or something. And I went on a Halloween and I saw a couple of kids had dressed up in makeshift Arrow outfits. And, uh, and I thought, oh, okay, it's connecting. And 100th episodes of shows are always so celebratory. You have a lot of people coming back. Can you talk about putting that celebration all into one episode. Yeah, you know, the, the episode is very much uh, a love letter and a, and, uh, a kind of a, a what if for Oliver. And, uh, and, and there's lots to reflect on. And there's obviously been some big dramatic things that have happened to him in his life. So it has its own kind of it's a wonderful life feel, which I like. And how much fun was it to have characters like Supergirl interacting in his world this time? Yeah, it's always exciting to mix and match. You kind of always never know how it is. It's always part of me. Hey, my dad and your mom are talking. Is that what time? Yeah, it's my dad. Yeah, he looks like me, but 30 years old. <laughs> um, um, having Supergirl yes. and characters like you that interacting. Oh, it's all gonna mix and match together. But the daily, what I was gonna say was the dailies always come back better than we write it. Quite frankly, and it's always very rewarding. Around that time of year, we get those because we haven't usually aired yet, and we need to pick me up, and it's just so cool to see those scenes. Was it surprising to you that DC was so generous in the characters that they've let you use? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think uh, they've always held us to a standard of, you know, uh, and, and but they've been great partners and friends. And, you know, it's it's everyone's been uh, terrific. Is there a character that you would like to be able to bring back that you just haven't been able to bring back at any point? Nope, there really hasn't now. I think, I think having just done, been a part of Superman last week and grown up with trying to imitate Christopher Reeve and, and run around the house and make anything red a cape, you know, uh, it was, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm not sure who's left. And what can you tease about uh, Katie Cassidy's returning to the many different series? Because there hasn't been a lot of news on that. Uh, <laughs> it's a, she, she, she gets to play a couple of different things this year. So the That's com a good tease, right? She's not just playing a character this year. She's she's a couple of different things. Well, Black Siren is still on the table, correct? Awesome. So in the comic books, we once had a crossover between the Punisher and Archie. Might we ever see Riverdale in a big crossover? I don't think so. <laughs> You know, they shoot right next door to the Supergirl set. And, uh, and so you, you, might, you might see sets on each show. You might see uh, some sets from Supergirl show up in Riverdale and vice versa. Because it saves us a little bit of money. But you'll see sets before people. And what is the proudest part of having this show go 100 episodes for you? I think the relationships that you, that you forge with individuals you make it with. I think like anything, anybody you ever been a part of anybody who gets to work in some place five years and is really proud of what they do. It's always the people, I think.